Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I know I haven't done a video in a very, very long time, uh, but I'm back now and I have an absolutely massive pre, no, post lockdown vintage haul for you. So, um, shall we just get straight into it? So I, um, like you, I'm sure, really, really miss uh, going to shopping and trash shop shopping and vintage shopping when whole world was put into lockdown. I hope you've all been keeping it well and safe in this very strange time. Uh, if you're not from the UK, things have started to ease over the past few weeks and months. Like you can actually go out now and lots of places have reopened. So I have been going to any place that will let me in. <laughs> so we on to London and all around Birmingham and I have got us some amazing new finds. So I thought I would um, come up here, do my first video back in a few months and share all my great finds with you uh, so you can see what I've been up to. So let's get down to it shall we? So actually what I'm wearing now is a uh, pink paisley pure silk uh, Isabella Moron silk dress. Got long sleeves. Yeah, long sleeves. It's like a tunic-y, peasant-y, boho dress. Um, and then this is a vintage uh, pure wool, um, obviously khaki army green shirt. Now, I got all these um, from London. The shirt was £8 and the dress was £2. Yep, Isabella Moran pure silk dress for £2. Isn't that crazy? You know, that saying of what someone else is um, rubbish is another man's gold is 100% true, isn't it? Because you know, I love this dress. I would never be able to buy it full price normally because they go for like 500 plus or around that sort of mark. These sort of styled um, silk tunic dresses by her. So, you know, what an absolute steal. So, if my outfit is anything to go by, you can tell I've got some good finds coming your way. So, next we have this really beautiful. Dark brown actually, it just looked quite black on the camera. But yeah, very dark brown, and uh, that classic leather um, coat. It, it's got the coolest label on it, if you can see. I really love it. Like our old Olympics um, Olympia label with the classic man with the ball behind his back. Uh, and it's doing better months, so it is made in Belgium. So it's a really old, really cool label, this one. And the thing a bit unusual about this jacket, I think it's a little bit special actually. So I'm going to do a bit more research into it. But I love all the decent on it, the little epaulets, the stitching, the leather's nice and soft. So it's going to really sort of be nice and flexible and really sort of encase you nicely. Um, I got an amazing haul last Saturday actually in a little sort of town village green area in Birmingham um, got some amazing pieces and this is some of them here so we've got a really nice high-waisted knitted skirt pleated now I know this doesn't look really that interesting off but wait till you see it on it's going to be really super high-waisted this the um, non-pleated part here is really going to flatter like the waist area and then the pleats are really going to kick out the hips so it's going to look really nice and dramatic on and it's a nice length to it as well and it's got a great weight to it so excited about this made in the UK lovely ah oh, next you know this reminds me of a dress that I would have been put in as a kid like a little high waist, high neck sorry red and white polka dot uh, dress it has the most amazing like buttoned cuffed sleeves, pleated skirt and matching material tie. I really love this. Again, it was made in York in England and it has the most amazing uh, embroidered label on it and it was by Vivian Smith. Now, I don't know if, well, I don't, yeah, very nice, but yeah, I love it. It's really cute, lots of fun memories about this and I love this pleating on the bodice here. Next, I believe this is another Vivian Smith ensemble. It is. I really like the sort of Victoriana ruffled neck on this one. And you know my love for a bit of paisley. In my opinion, you cannot go wrong with a bit of paisley in your life. And I love that brown velvet ribbon around the neck. Just really adds something special to it. 
again it has the really exaggerated cuff buttons here and the matching material tie and the pleated skirt really cool little cotton dress really just love it next we have a nice little black floral um Oh, cuz that peplum <laughs> 80s dress. It has uh, a slightly sheer, which you kind of see if you look at the label, um, bodice. So, you know, depending on the, the occasion or how risky you're feeling, you can either wear it with just like a black bar underneath it, which I actually think would look quite nice because, you know, it's still quite modest even if you were to do that. Or if you wanted to be a bit more reserved, you can put like a nice little cute slip top underneath it. So, you know, there's a variety of different ways you can wear it as... It's what I always like to look out for in an outfit and it has obviously the double layered um, peplum here and the matching large oversized fabric belt so really nice really cute it's kind of like a daisy print to it oh this is so so cool right now this is actually one of my favorite finds of this um, post lockdown haul how much did you miss it I'd love to know literally I missed it so much um, so it's got the tassels on it now if you're new to my channel or you know maybe i haven't you haven't watched one of my videos where i've described my love for a tassel before i love anything with tassels on it fringing whatever you want to call it i just love a tassel makes it everything more happy i think so this is one part for a three-piece set nice black wool scarf complete with tassels triangle um design now i will show you this on at the end of the video uh, I'll just do a few pieces because I know people have been requesting that on my previous uh, vintage haul videos and uh, I have a lot of stuff here so it would take me an absolute age to do it all on in this video whilst I'm talking you through it all so this video I'll just show you and I'll try on a few pieces at the end and then um, next week sorry at the end of this week or beginning of next week I will do a full vintage try on haul video you'll get to see absolutely every single piece here that I'm going to show you today and also some extra ones that um, I found uh, previously uh, and haven't shown you on YouTube yet so keep your eyes out for that come on darling I'm just going to join us yeah so these are little knitted black sort of knee length uh, pantaloon trousers and then it goes with this scarf and the cutest little ruffle neck cardigan now isn't that just such a cute little outfit can you imagine how cool you will look i know you can't see the detail here because black really isn't very good to show you on camera walking down the street in this literally it is so so cool i love everything about it, it has a little ruffle on the um sleeves and on the hem so one of my all-time favorite finds and uh, this is by an italian brand called i'm going to say it's completely wrong aren't i called Jana sport so really cute i think from this design it's kind of like 60s 50s this is a bit bit fun i'd probably say 60s actually um like the like the style of the cardigan is a bit 50s but i really love it it's one of my faves okay next oh you can't go wrong with a classic super high-waisted black long maxi skirt uh, in velvet this is really nice quality and it was made in england 100 percent cotton velvet you know that is the best velvet if you're gonna go for velvet go for that next oh, i love this it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like a magic eye but when you were a kid when you had to like you make yourself go buzz eyed and then take the book out um effect this is what this shirt reminds me of just trying to do the buttons up so you can see it yeah. there we go i love contrasting prints i just instantly think it is such a cool way to you know make a a statement with your outfit or you know it's just a cool way to dress classic prints and this shirt does it for you so it's got the stripes and the checks going on in a teeny tiny format and it is pure silk i believe one moment made in switzerland and pure silk so very nice mandarin color as well and i love that about it like it's one of my favorite necklines and it's yeah it's just really cute so nice little find 
if I don't say so myself. <laughs> Next we have this um, two-piece black and pink floral sheer shirt. You can kind of see my face through it. See? Um, and I love the colours on it. Now I'm not a really a massive pink girl, but I love pink and black together because you know it is like the ultimate contrast, isn't it, in the colours like masculine and feminine. And I really like the Dixie floral print to it. This will look amazing. It worn with jeans on a night out, just like a little bra, black bra underneath it. Now the label, the care, the material label has been cut out of this one, unfortunately. Um, as I can see a remnant here. Um, and so I can't guarantee, like, tell, 100% guaranteed the material. But to me it does feel like a silk sort of um, crepe sort of blend. It has that sort of delicate nature to it. And it falls really nicely as soon as you hold it. Uh, it has a nice nice weight to it uh, and this was made in England and this is apparently a size 18 so as you can tell this is a beautiful example of how vintage sizes has got have got a lot smaller now it also has a cool little necktie to go with it so you know I just love the fact that that has survived with it because you know how easy is it to lose that so someone has taken good care of this so another little pretty find here gonna end up with a mound of clothes around me have I? <laughs> Next we have a, another Made in England Beauty Martinique brand. It is 20% uh, wool and it has a really nice uh, matching material uh, belt to it with a little contrasting gold buckle and it is really long and it is fully lined and I just thought you know it's just a really nice quality skirt bit of red to add a bit of colour to the wardrobe, why not eh? Oh now, this is beautiful. Now this is all um, silk chiffon, I think then, I was about to say crepe which isn't right. Silk chiffon and it was made in Birmingham because it's a Birmingham brand, Isabella Birmingham. Now I have found, this is the second dress I found of her, I had found another one, it was a white uh, with green beaded uh, wedding dress, beautiful. Um, and then the other day when I went out to another side of Birmingham, I found another dress of hers. So, you know, she's trying to find me and I'm very pleased about it because her designs are just timeless, I think. Now, I love the gentle, soft pleating around the neck. And if you can see it, there's like a double sort of sweetheart neckline there. It goes up and up. It's just super pretty is in excellent condition for how delicate the fabric is and so beautiful i love this shade of blue i think it is so pretty i would say this is 60s and i mean very gently put it there <laughs> oh this is a beauty now we know we've all heard of jean Muir, 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 haven't we I know, I'm crap at saying words, aren't I? And this is one of her classic 70s boho jersey viscose dresses. And what I absolutely love about it is the colour palette and the fact that it's got yin yangs on it, or what looks like yin yangs to me, anyway. I love it. Made in the UK, of course. Uh, this is a UK 10. And um, because of her silhouette, it's always been oversized. You know, it still is a UK 10 now. So it's really good. And it has the most coolest little detail to it to it will you be able to see nobody knows mm, there you go look nice eh and it goes all pleated from the cuff so really lovely dress this is probably one of my favorite finds from last saturday um you know because gmo is a classic isn't it like a cool iconic 70s english designer the height of cool Next we have a super cute and easy to wear little beige sort of camel um, shift dress, shift dress, yeah, wrap dress, sorry, uh, really nice and I like the um, matching material tie on it, let's make a nice little cute office dress, put it back in there, right now next, this was from my travels on Wednesday last week, I believe. Now, this is a Alison Bell designer creation. Now, it is wool. I don't even need to look at the label, I can tell you as well. It is super soft and geometric print 80s 
mock neck goodness you know to me sweaters are one size fits all and you know this um is a classic 80s look i absolutely love how soft it is honestly it's almost as soft as olive almost um start on this side on <laughs> Next we have another classic 80s piece. We have Lewis Fraud, um, white and grey. Funnel neck blouse, just that we do it up for you. Sorry, should be better prepared, shouldn't I? I love, what I love about this is that, you know, it adds a bit of stripe to it and it is 80s in its design, you'll see. But you know, it's still so wearable, so cool. And it is like a cool way to wear like a white shirt now it's a bit more interesting than you know just your normal average white shirt and I love the billowy sleeves on it and you know how they have carried on the stripes on the neck so yeah very nice that and let me just check the material for you there is no label I'm afraid not like I see in that quick look but I will update you oh Right, no, I've got a really good one coming up for you. Uh, so I love uh, this colour green, like a nice sort of moss green um, with it. It has the cutest labels are, let's get this belt out. Um, crimpline, which is um, 60s material. You don't, you know, you don't get that anymore now, do you? <laughs> and it has a cute little check print to it, window pane check, pockets. Gotta love a pocket, haven't you? And a leather waist belt in green as well. Okay, so next we have this really cute three-piece uh, 1960s Louis Farad um, little suit uh, dress and jacket. I love this sort of fresh, zesty green. It's kind of like a cross between like an apple and a mint green. I love its little detail at the bottom. See it? Little off centered fastening it's got a zip to it as well and obviously the colors neckline is always great crop to about this one is and then it comes with this matching green uh shift dress and it has the nicest detail so all all the seams just have that really simple zigzag line going across them in a contrasting green color and i just think that is such a lovely and so effective yet simple detail isn't it and then to top it off this little scarf goes with it as well. So, so cute, so cool. And again, I love the fact that they've taken so much care about it that this scarf is still together. So, you know, come on, people. How cute. It's just so 60s, isn't it? Just absolutely love it. So, another great find. Don't say so myself. Now I really love this um, shade of burgundy, it's like a really slinky material here. So it is Ports International, um, made in Hong Kong, but you know, it's got a lovely old label to it. You can see it, there you go. Uh, really nice sort of slinky sort of jersey fabric to it and it has an ever so subtle sort of metallic sheen, you can kind of almost see there. Uh, but this is just going to hang so nicely on and it would look great one free flowing or with a waist belt so you know you get two different looks in one now this is a super old um m s now i love the colors to it and the geometric sort of zigzag print now it is a waistcoat but you know i think you could wear this totally as a little top you see how old that label is i think it's like 50s this is but I really love it, it's really soft, it's in excellent condition for its age, so imagine how nice that will look for like, uh, with your favourite pair of high waisted jeans and heels for night out, or you know, trainers, keeping it cash. Always more when, more than one way to wear something. Um, next we have this really cute cream and beige, um, tie detail neck. Uh, really like the little um, short sleeves on it and the tie detail and it's print. I think you can probably see it better on the back actually. Really easy to wear, really fun. Next we have another vintage M&S top with matching belt as you just seen fall on the floor. Uh, I love this blue again. 
blue is one of my favourite colours, isn't it? And again, it has another sort of zigzaggy print, probably from the same person that the other one was from. And metal zip fastened to sand. And I love that it has this belt. And like, that is a true 60s belt buckle, isn't it? You know, that's classic circle belt. So 60s. Absolutely love it. Shall I do what everyone else does? Okay. Oh, such a professional YouTuber these days. <laughs> Um, oh, I love this because, you know, my love for animals is still going strong. I kind of recognise this brand name as well, but I haven't done any research into it yet, so I do need to. Ara. But it has an elephant on it. Hello. And what looks like butter. I just love it. Such a cool print. It is so fun. It is ever so slightly sheer. This is 80s. It's got a shoulder padding in it, so it's always a giveaway, isn't it? So cool. <laughs> oh, actually, I've forgotten some things I bought because I have actually been on a bit of a roll recently with my finds. So this is great for me to re-see everything that I bought. Classic little um, uh, brown and gold floral kimono jacket. Uh, really nice. This is really super easy to wear one because it has a more of a normal sleeve. So you know you don't have to worry about all the the detail going underneath. But you know. I wear mine, which Anthony calls a, main, um, a wizard's cape, all the time. Layer it up in winter, layer it down in summer, dress it up, dress it down. I literally live in mine. It's such a good investment piece, a nice sort of um, kimono jacket. Um, yeah, just love them. Just love them. Next, we have a brown lace cocktail dress with. Uh, the sort of sheer panelling, it's floral lace to it. So nice, really nice. A line silhouette and the fancy frill sleeves. So I like that. Next. Now, this is actually vintage, but I'm just going to wear it anyway. But, <laughs> and it is like super oversized and I look like an ice cream in it, or that is my aim. But I'm going to wear this as a jumper dress and then wear it all slouchy and oversized. Or with just like a uh, simple waist, belt around the waist even, and trainers or boots depending on the season kind of thing. But you know, I like to look like an ice cream sometimes, it makes me feel fun. So that's how I'm going to wear that. It's not vintage though, so but I just want to show you because it's in my bag. <laughs> Next. Now, these, these are, I've got two of these, right? So these obviously are uh, dressing gowns, but you know, I always like to think, you need to think outside the box sometimes. And I absolutely love the prints on these two like quilted jackets. And I wear a men's dressing gown as like a, a kimono lightweight summer coat. And it's really long because it's men's. Like I'm six foot one and it's almost ankle length. So it has great drama to it. And people always ask me where I've got my coat from. So if you think outside the box, you can have a lot of fun which is what we've done here. So this is a super cool quilted coat. Uh, <laughs> and you know, it's got um, pockets on it. It's uh, probably midi length. And I just absolutely love the print. Really cool, love it. This is its matching mate. If you're a pink gal kind of girl, this is the one for you. And I love its sort of blue um, floral print to it as well. Really fun. And again, it has pockets to it, so you know, why would you just want to wear this inside? This, these are too good to keep inside, aren't they? They need to share their joy. Um, next. <laughs> okay, you know, so I have a few loves in my don't I? Vintage clothes, olive animals, and a great vintage print. A shell short definitely falls into that criteria. It has flowers on it, it has leaves. You know, what more could you want from a pair of high-waisted like clots as well i love a clot you know i used to wear these not these but clots at school and you know they are back people being out of the clots just absolutely love that print almost feel like i'm on the seabed looking at those the ultimate pair of summer shorts in my opinion now obviously this needs to have something underneath it so i will get a little um, black slip dress to go underneath it. This is a vintage Dior though. Now look at this print. I've been lucky enough to do a few house calls as well um, since lockdown has 
ease over here and this is one of the ones that I got from House Call. So it has the coolest sleeve detail. The print is just perfect to me. Like soft pinks, purples, monochrome and the orange and a bit of lime for good luck. And I love the detail on the hem. So pretty, absolutely love it with all my heart. Amazing, 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 amazing. Just to clarify. See there, sausage. <laughs> uh, next we have some purple high-waisted trousers with the coolest flap pocket detail. These are wide leg and they are wool, I believe. No label, can't see. So, but very nice. They feel like wool to me, and you know what? They're just going to look great on. And they have an elasticated waist, so they're also comfortable. Oh, this is one of the ones, uh, the items I got from my house call in Solly Hall. Um, classic 80s two piece. Look at that metallic goodness. Beautiful A line pleated gold skirt. It is tiny, is it eight this is, a vintage eight, so um, this could be interesting for me to get into, to show you. Here is the matching top to go with it, classic 80s, Madonna, eat your heart out, but you know what, I love it, and I actually don't think it was ever worn, because it is just in such good condition, even like there's literally no wear on the labels at all, so this is like dead stop vintage so uh, it'd be fun to show that on isn't it and i actually got a, a real 80s scrunchie which i have left upstairs so i would get to show you that <laughs> next we have this now i was attracted to this straight away because i love a fun print and this to me is a fun print oh that's asleep <laughs> it is like a um sheer polka dot spotty um like kimono style jacket with the coolest exaggerated sleeves it's so like ethereal and like dramatic and boho and beautiful and fun and everything that you want from your clothes isn't it and unique and one of a kind and cool and you know it's fun it makes you smile that's what I want from my clothes anyway and yeah I love it imagine that you know even with a t-shirt jeans trainers so cool Kate Moss eat your heart out or if you want to buy a Kate just let me know <laughs> uh, next to go from one end of the uh, scales to the next we have your classic vintage uh, black evening dress velvet with a beautiful chiffon neckline what I absolutely love about this dress though is that it has a low cut back and then this bit here can I, you can either leave it free flowing or you can do up and bow but I just love that detail to it like you know I always think a low cut back is a bit sexy if I'm honest it's a bit sexy but you know it's going to be like knee length on most people so this is a really timeless dress it is timeless Let's see who it's made by oh it has the coolest label uh, Cinderella come on camera how cool. You both could go to the ball in this, 100%. Another just little vintage scarf. Just like the colour of it. <laughs> uh, another 80s ensemble, not the stereotypical 80s like you saw in the gold. This is just like a really easy to wear, little cute summer t-shirt dress. I love the block colouring on it and just thought it was, yeah, really fun. Cool old. Wallace label and it has pockets. A little cute, is this 70s? Yeah, seven. I would say this is late 70s, early, early 80s. It's actually made in Australia and I'm not, you don't see many labels with that do you, made in Australia. Ruth Toridas. I'll show you. As soon as I saw the last name, I regretted it. <laughs> but you know you know this would look great on a night out wouldn't it high, super high waisted jeans and cool black vintage top with really cool gold panel in there now you know so cool I know this is going to look great on but I love the three, three strap detail as well 
It's got a button to back as well. Oh, this is soft. Um, made in Italy. Little Pringle style print. Um, roll neck top. Sorry, lose my words. <laughs> in the forest green and red colour combo and white. You know, classic combo, you know. Really cool, isn't it? And cute. See, you know what I think would look really good? You have this on and then your little brown kimono jacket, which is here. Actually, this is one of the other ones that I'll show you on with jeans. And it's like, you know, contrasting with your, your prints, but it's also complimentary in its colour tones. And it just looks so great. This is like a really nice, like, autumn, it's a dreaded word, I know, because I love summer so much. Um, Put a nice little autumn outfit there and it's like really nice I think to really sort of mash up your cultures and your prints and just create like a really truly unique look for yourself which I think you can only really achieve by wearing vintage that is one of the reasons why I absolutely love it so much next we have sorry I was just looking at my cameras there's like a weird little thing on it so I don't know what it's trying to tell me but it's beginning to tell me it's ringing out of memory space uh, another 80s classic now I um, love this because of like the uh, jersey ribbed uh, waistband and cuffs on it. So it's kind of like a uh, bomber shirt jacket kind of thing going on here. And it's got like a floral sort of animal print uh, vibe going on to it. So it's clashing prints as well. So you know, lots of good things in there. Next we have a really cute uh, Irish linen high-waisted mini skirt with a sort of um no it's not got a plate please on it this one it's got a front button fastening though very nice and matching material belt it's amazing how much i can talk about one item isn't it when i'm trying to do it <laughs> but you know really beautiful quality irish linen and this is i think this is quite old this dress i need to just do a bit uh sorry this skirt but you know, just from looking at it now, you know, this. they say this is a 14. That is not a modern day 14. That is an 8 to 10, I would say. So that, I, and then from the, the the label, it's embroidered. So I'm going to say this is 60s, this skirt. And it's like a little classic mini skirt. What more could you want? And then, getting towards the end now. Um, Really super soft, vintage, 50s, knitted. I think this is wool black little top and I know this is kind of like you know you know you either class it as boring or a staple either way you know you do need things in your wardrobe and I think this is really beautiful it is so soft there is no material label in it but I really like the crew neckline and then the zip detail to the back so you know you gotta have good basics people you need them this is my penultimate find so Dun & Co, which is, you know, is a very good English make. Classic English tweed jacket here, people. Now, I do believe this is actually men's. Oh, come on, okay. Harris tweed, people. Harris tweed. It is beautiful. Well made. It's got the classic flat pockets. It's got the Chesterfield button. Chesterfield sofa buttons is what I like to say. You know, those stereotypical English sort of quilted leather buttons he's got a good way to it and you know even if this is men's it doesn't matter I don't think because you know a blazer is masculine in its design anyway you're just going to have a slightly looser cut to it which I love to contrast against really feminine silhouettes of like floaty dresses and stuff like that like my outfit today and then last but most certainly not least we have this right way? Yeah. <laughs> now this is the other Isabella Birmingham dress that I was telling you about. Now it's very like pop arty in its design um, and it's got like such amazing detail to it. Now you really won't sort of appreciate all the detail to it. So that is the front that you're seeing there now and you know it's got the nice draped neckline, um, the classic sort of shift dress design, the detail here where it sort of crosses over but the prints match so it's like a layered effect to it I'll show you this one on as well I feel like you need to see some things on don't you and then next to it next at the back to it even you have the bow detail 
the button detail and I just love this sort of wrapped over sort of sheath dress sort of panel almost so it's like there's like two levels, layers to it almost on this dress beautifully made and you know it's so cool like it's such a cool dress I love it it's very really, really geometric in its design but super cool it's got a side side zip fastening as well so there you go they are my vintage finds post lockdown I said it right this time I'm getting hot on this <laughs> uh, I have as you can see been shopping of a storm so I have so many new finds coming to you every single day thank you so much for watching I will do a quick show and tell now on those outfits which I just said you about uh, and then we can wrap this up shall we okay over the mirror I showed you on uh, three of my favourite finds or you know some really cool outfits I will be doing more outfits like I had been previously I really appreciate every single one of you for watching it literally blows my mind still it really does and I just wanted to let you know that I am sorry again for being you know out of action basically don't know what's wrong with me but I'm back I've got lots of cool finds my love for vintage has gone nowhere and if anything it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger and I want to share with you the joy that vintage is and how you can dress well and look after the planet um, by wearing vintage which is, the one, which is the main reason I got into it so you know I'm a bit of an urban hippie <laughs> I know it's such a lame saying isn't it but it's true but anyway thank you so much for watching my name is Rachel Sadler and I am the owner of Aids Attic Vintage I will be back with you uh, later on this week with a uh, Day in a, a week in a life of a vintage dealer my little docu-series that's coming back as well and then uh, just stay tuned and if you really like to hit subscribe and like this button so you never miss one of my videos again so you can see my vintage try on haul you get to see all the outfits here and everywhere else in my house there's a lot <laughs> thank you thank you thank you uh, I pl please uh, comment below if you have any suggestions on how I can make these videos better for you I'm always willing and wanting to learn to make them better for you so please comment below and i'll get on to straight away thank you thank you thank you bye